What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back with Ark Play as a Dinosaur mod. I may sound a little different today, guys. I lost my voice in my sleep. I don't know how. I just did. But uh, I didn't do anything different. But we're a centipede today, and we're gonna we're gonna slither around and do weird things and glitch out the game because the centipede is so wonky. Uh, but yeah, I lost my voice at some point. It's probably from eating movie pe theater popcorn. I went and saw Purge Election Year. If you haven't seen it, I I'd, I'd, rec I'd recommend it as like a date movie kind of thing. You know, it's, it's not like, oh, I, I guess you could see it as like an action movie. Eh. There, there's better stuff out there. I'm sure Judgment Day is okay enough for an action movie to go see. But uh, yeah, let's get back to Ark. So... We're playing as a centipede because a lot of you guys wanted to see a centipede. I have no idea why. They're not like the coolest things I've ever seen. And they're creepy. All those legs. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Get spit on. So I can't like go into turret mode or anything. You know what I mean? That's not how this works. But we can, you know, fight T-Rexes and get our asses handed to us. Thank God I'm in infinite stats. Like... <laughs> this isn't even fair. Yeah, exactly. No. Get hooked on phonics somewhere else. Are we really outrunning T-Rex? Oh, okay. They're changing their at. We do the hokey pokey and we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. This freaking T-Rex is doing the hokey pokey over there. But yeah, we're just basically able to slither around, spit on people with acid, you know, burn their armor off, and that's about it. But, uh, yeah, we should be getting into the PvP set of Ark again very soon. Royal's just working on getting a server up. Uh, he just launched a couple other servers, so I understand why it's taking a little bit. And then I also have my PvE server that I'm going to be playing on as well. You know, kind of like my Twitch streaming server. I haven't been able to do Twitch lately. I've been so busy. So far behind. But I'm going to get back into the you know, the kick of things very, very soon. Um, but yeah. Let's kill the saber tooth. See, I don't, I still don't see a point in like over taming centipedes. The acid only seems to break armor and do a lot of damage to humans. But if someone's just riding a mount, they can just pick it up and drop it or shoot it and snipe it from far range. Like the turret mode is kind of weird. Turret mode is allowing when you're off the centipede to basically just sit there and turret. Let's check it out. Alright, you're in turret mode. <laughs> like it, it just <laughs> doesn't do more. Or less of anything. Looks like we're stuck. Or are we just stuck in turret mode? No? Are, are you just stuck in the rock? Alright, let's try this one more time. Disable turret mode. Before I get messed up by ghost mode. There we go. Alright, I guess I was stuck in turn mode, which is meh. I still don't see a point in it. Like, you can get a bunch of dillos for half the price up on your roof than one centipede. What the hell? Oh, a <laughs> little arc drop thing. That's right. That's right. get stabbed in the face with my little mandibles. Is it called a mandible? Anybody know anything about centipedes? What's the front of my face called? It's called a mandible. I hope so. But yeah, guys, we'll be switching between dinosaurs today. I'm still, I gotta look at the YouTube comments, so, you know, when I come back, you guys will see what I'm gonna be. <laughs> but I saw a centipede was one of the top ones today, so I picked centipede. But centipede's not too much to do. You know, very slow, very... Yeah, I finally made it to a swamp. But yeah, when I come back, guys, I'll be a different dinosaur, and we'll show you guys another one in this episode. So I'll, I'll be right back. 
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, as the Land Manta Ray. Yes, I saw that post about Land Manta Rays. So let's try it out. We're in God Mode and Infinite Stats. I can't do my cool jump, though. So we're, g <laughs> we're basically a flying Manta Ray on land. It's actually pretty exciting. He is one of the dinosaurs that you can just pick right out of the gates. You know what I mean? Just make sure you give it Infinite Stats and some other buffs as well. Eat, eat my stinger. Eat it. Get stung. Can a dodo survive a sting? Yes, it can. Not two stings. Alright, so I'm going to try and stay by the ocean even though I'm going to be landman arraying today. Just so I can do the, you know... Hey, that's awesome. <laughs> I enjoy the little water loosh that you can do. But yeah. Remember, guys, to always comment what you guys want to see next because it helps me out on what to play and what to do. We, we got a long list of dinosaurs to, willing to be played as well. Uh, I believe fish, like the coal, are unable to be played. And I think the mega piranha is on that list as well. So I got I to look into it. So keep that in mind as you're, you know, commenting your little choices as well. All right, let's see. Look at this thing go, though. It's so fast. Uh oh I'm in a bad spot. I mean, a rock and a turtle. I guess it's a rock and a hard place. Da-da. Ding. Bad jokes all around. Bad jokes all around. All right. Let's see. So I, did, I actually went outside for the first time for Pokemon Go the other day with my cousin and my buddy and my brother. And we, we went and caught Pokemon. And it, it, I know it sounds crazy. But I got a Pikachu, and I was very, very, very happy. Like, that game to me is just a nostalgia factor. You know, I, whenever Pokemon came out, I was, like, on top of that with a Game Boy and Pokemon Blue. I had Pokemon Blue. I had the Blastoise on them. And I remember the first 151 Pokemon. Like, I have every, every single Pokemon card from that generation. Then the second gen came out, and I gave up. Like, that, that's how fast it went for me. So them doing, you know, the first 151 was a unique choice. I feel like they were definitely doing it on purpose to pull in the, you know, the older crowd first. And then the younger crowd enjoys Pokemon either way. So, yeah. Because if you go out right now and you go, like, do Pokemon Go Pokey stops and stuff, you'll see groups of people coming together and doing that together. It's, it's actually a really cool thing. It's very unnatural, though. <laughs> Because it's it's just people on their cell phones again. It's not like people interacting at all. But people are driving around in their cars at like 2 a.m. You can see them pulling over on the side of the road to catch a Snorlax. Like that's actually a thing. And it's it's it's, it's a wonky like I could see psychologists going crazy with this because it it's <laughs> it just works. You know it's the it's the it's Skynet basically though. You look at it it it's, it is Skynet. They're controlling us. Through Pokemon, you know what I mean? If you put a Snorlax in one spot, you know, a good Snorlax spawn, I bet you'll have 100 people sitting there all day. People are crazy. I'm not that type of person right now. I'm, I'm more, I played in my free time, and then the rest of the time, I'm just like, eh. It kills my battery way too fast. Anyways. The Mana Ray is, you know, one of those, I feel, dinosaurs that's misun misunderstood. Because no one ever tames them. They're more of a pain in the ass. You know, I'll see one or two be tamed just for the, 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 the fact of taming one. Usually YouTubers will touch them, but past that point, I never really see them used in a battle setting. I guess you, with a health of 320, it's not really the most useful for battle. But I could see taming, like, what if you tamed, like, 100 of these things with Angular Gel on, like, a boosted server? How, how would you feel? It would be amazing. Getting a hundred of these just to spin around your Mosasaur and just keep poking you and stuff, going really, really fast. I'd be, I'd be fearful for my life. I mean, on my eight times server, we have what, like, twenty six thousand Angler Gel, and Bug Repellent's not the worst thing to make in the world. So you could tame a crap load of Mana Rays just by going like to the north, where I always see like four in a group, and just keep doing that and having this battle mob of Mana Rays. And if someone has a water base, strap C four to them and charge it in we'll call it mana bombs yeah because we already have dimorpha bombs we need mana bombs if anybody does a mana bomb make me happy just do it 
Just just do it. Don't let your dreams be memes. And just let it, let it happen. Yeah. Alright, let's get back up on land. Gonna go fish. I was looking for like an underwater loot crate. I don't know why in my brain I thought to go look for that right now. But I did. That are alpha mosasaurs. I haven't seen any of those either. I've never seen one in the wild. That's that's the thing here. I've never seen one in the wild. I've only seen an alpha mouth raised when I showed them off to you guys. Blah, 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 blah. I can't speak English today. As I said, my throat is like burning. It's, it's I swear, it's movie theater popcorn. Every time I eat it, I always feel like garbage the next day. My face like breaks out or something. It, it's, it's this horrible mess that movie popcorn does to people. Look at this though. It's just... Shoom. I believe I can fly. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to end today's episode here. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment those dinosaurs that you want to see. Make sure you check out the Patreon again on the ARC server. Uh, as we get closer to the first, we'll be letting more people on the server then. Uh, I've been Demo, guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful time. I'm a flying manta ray.